Hello YouTube, Mr. Beam is here with another video from Revit Logic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some 2D detail item and generic annotation for some details, 2D details link. And um, before that, I'm starting with this amazing project. So this is a like a a real it's a real project for Melbourne Airport uh, Terminal 2 and we recently just issued 400% design so I just wanted to tell you guys whatever I'm showing here whatever I'm doing here is a real world thing so it's a practical and it's a structural okay most of the stuff we are doing here is a structural not architectural so let me show you this sheet so this sheet includes of lots of 2d details uh, there are drafting views and it's all about uh, precast um, connections and precast details so let's check for example this one so this one is a casting plate type cp1 casting plate one and it's for panel thickness less than 160 millimeter only and as you can see we have a section here AA and that's the section AA so probably there is a problem we have to delete this section here so anyway um, this is section BB and this is the section the section CC CC so some of you may ask question so why you just don't use the, the Revit default sections? So the thing is, if I want to create a section here and just ref refer it to an, a drafting, so I have to do it for all of these one here, one, 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 one. It's just a tedious job to do, okay? So these are typical details. Um, that's because we just have a, a family there, which if I type CS, it's a line based so I can just create that section so it's just indicative so it's not a live section it's not like the sections we create in Revit so now let's create it so the thing is this family we are going to create it family inside the family so we will have a nested family so the tail is actually a generic annotation and the rest is a detail item where line based okay because we want this tail like default Revit sections not affecting by the scale so at any scale it's always printing the same size so let's get this started let's go to the file let's go to the new and family I'm going to folder English. I'm not sure what is English I. And uh, let's go to annotations and looking for metric generic annotation. So first we are going to create that tail. Um going to switch off the T line. Sorry. Yeah. And let's create a field region. I want it as a black so I'm going to edit type and let's duplicate and call it black and so it's already black so I have to click on OK and let's create it so I want it as a one millimeter um, actually I have to switch on the T line it already was on and having another line here as you can see I, I want not connected I can't connect it to this line the reason is is less than 0 0.8 is right now is 0 0.4 so the trick is I would do it here then I will hit the escape type in TR for trimming and clicking on this line click on this line so then we will realize that ah okay it's not going to work so now what we are going to do good question um, so sorry my bad we actually have to create this line not one millimeter but ten millimeter so let's 
let's fix this one. Say so this should be this should be actually ten. Not not one millimeter. And this one can be somewhere there and then this would be okay. So let's click on OK and we have that um, field region. Let's also create a line and we are going to have something like a 8 here. So cool. So we will have this one. Let's save it as let's call it section tail master beam and let's save it so I will keep this one here but I'm going at the same time opening a new family and We are going to English folder looking for metric detail item line based. Let's click on open. Now let's go to the family we created here and just load it to family 4. And boom, you have it there. So I'm going to click here. Now click somewhere here. We are going to click on this one. And let's type MM for mirror. We don't need a copy, so we just need this. I'm going just to type AL for a line. Picking this line. Picking that. Lock it. Picking this. Picking that. Lock it. Picking that. Picking, picking this line. Lock it. And also like this corner hitting on the escape let's check it if this works yep it's working and it's attached to the lines perfectly so now what we need we need a we need a label here so for creating a label we have to create inside an annotation again so as you can see, this is our family, and it's like a, another family, a generic annotation is inside our family, which is, this is a nested family. So let's go to the file, let's go to the new, let's go to family. Going again to the English folder. So let, let's, let's fix, fix this one first, God's sake. So let's go to the file and to the option. So if you look for the file locations so we have a pass for Revit template family templates let's browse it let's choose this English and let's create an open and click on OK so now I'm going to file new family ah by default now is a folder English that's much much better let's go to the annotations and let's go and look for metric generic annotation and let's open it so i'm not going just too much into the details it's all about your company's uh, requirement and also standards but i'm just for now i'm just going to create a, a label with a size of 2.5 millimeters so let's go to the create and label so by default it's 3 minutes, I'm going to edit type, let's duplicate and name it at 2.5. I want the opaque, yes, text size 2.5, width factor, we can keep it at for now for 1, but some components is 0 0.83, some components is 0 0.8. Click on OK, and just let's uh, have it something. So let's add the parameter and have it as a... For now, let's have it as an instance and name it uh, label text. Okay, and this in is a common and it's text and group as a text. And let's uh, click on OK. Let's add it and let's have it as a text, just text. And click on OK. 
So what I want is to have it all aligned to the center. I'm just making this one a little bit smaller. So let's save this one as a label text 2.5. And let's save it. Let it takes 2.5. Underline Mr. Bean. Click on the save. So let's load it to the family four. We have it here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going just uh, to place it somewhere for now here. But let's type RP for reference line I will create a reference here reference line here and let's type di for dimensioning and dimensioning here so um, let's say so for example this is scale 1 to 10 and let's say that's that one having on a 50 and then I'm creating similar at that one. I will put it someone that here and one of them here. And the thing is, I need to another rifle plane. Let's say 50 millimeter from these two ends there and there. And typing AL for align, I'm aligning this one with the label and also aligning this one. I'm sorry. T typing AL again, aligning this label to that one. Let's test it. If I move this one, so as you can see, this label is not moving. Why it's not moving? Because whenever I chose it as a 50, I didn't lock it. So we have to type the DL from this line to that line. From this line to that line, I'm picking somewhere here. I will lock it, and also I will lock that one. So now let's move it. You can see that label will move with it. So now, also locking this 50. Um, label. So let's test the label. First, let's clicking on the two label. A label text. We are make it. Um, we have to assign assign something so let's have an instance and a text and saying that view name let's click on OK and let's click on OK let's go to the family types and view name like, like C for example and click on apply and it will change the view name to C so now we are going to save this family I will call it dummy section line based mr. bean and now let's load it to the project so we have created that one and let's see that how it works go to the annotate and component dummy section line based let's have it like this amazing so why we have a why we have a um, question mark there because uh, section has a problem so we have to go inside and fix it the other thing is this text size is 3.5 so we can update that one later we can have some several options about the text size um, so you're free to do lots of modifications. So I'm going to edit this family again and see that one, it was just missing there. So I'm going to load it to the project again and let's just save it and save it. So as you can see, I can just click on it, I can just change its size and I can also change the view name to like a B. 
how cool is it so one thing we are going to just to check if I change this scale to 1 to 10 1 to 20 sorry so as you can see the size of the, the tail will remain the same so you only need to have a parameter to put this label text further so you can have a, a formula for that one let's um, let's check that one so it's like a is five times of the like a scale and and uh, let's do it like this let's go to the to the family types so I'm going just to create a new parameter I will have it as an instance I will call it scale I'm hitting OK and hitting OK so right now the scale is 10 okay and let's call these 250 as an instance and group it as a other and just call it parameter a doesn't matter too much okay but how much is the parameter a so let's say that whenever we making this scale smaller 1 to 10 it should be bigger bigger gap so how we are going to do that good question good question so actually I was wrong so it's a um, so it's a it, it has a it can be a, have a linear relationship so it's like whenever a scale is 10 is 50 whenever the scale is 20 it should be 100 so let's say that a is actually equal to scale multiple by pi five, 5 so whenever the scale is 10 is 50 whenever the scale is 20 it will turn to 100 so now test it let's uh, load it to the project let's click on the yes and another yes and let's override it and seeing that how it looks like so see so now the scale is 20 is like that whenever we're hitting the scale 10 it will be there so I'm changing the scale to 1 to 20 now it's very difficult to read but if I change this one to 20 now it's easier to read so right now I'm going to tell you the family we created in this lesson is better the family that we already had that practical uh, project which is a real life project so we did a very good job so this is the end of this video and thank you so much for watching